Welcome to Ask a Pastor, the podcast where you can ask the pastor, well, anything. In this episode, Pastor Chip Stevens is joined by one of the ministry team at First Baptist Jackson to answer your questions. Now, let's join Chip and his guests in the studio. Hey, and welcome to this edition of Ask a Pastor Podcast. It's just our opportunity to be able to answer some questions that have been submitted by you. It's things that, that you've had questions about, biblical questions or life questions, and, you know, how we live the Christian life. Today, we have uh, Jim Spikes. Jim is our community outreach pastor here at First Baptist Jackson. And Jim, we're glad to have you with us today. Good to be here. Thank you so much. Got a question that's been submitted that uh, that I, I really think you're the perfect guy to answer. And, and the question is from somebody who is a Christian, mm-hmm. but um, they're struggling with how to talk to their family about their faith. Right. Uh, in the question, they're saying that, you know, the, the, the range in the family, some are absolutely against Christianity whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And then there are some who are in the family who might would be interested in coming to church. So this person is asking, you know, how do I share with my family, some of who are very resistant, but some of who are open, mm. about my faith in Christ? And I know that you spent years on the mission field. And so this is something you probably experienced overseas, but also things you've probably experienced here uh, in mm-hmm. Mississippi. So how, how would you address that question? <clears throat> well, it's an interesting, interesting question. Uh, to be honest, it's a dynamic that I have in my own family. I mean, okay. several members of my family also are far from God and have questions about that. And so my wife and I have had to learn to relate to them in a very specific way. Mm-hmm. And, and to briefly answer this or respond to it, it, it really boils down to, I think, something that we see in the, the, the Sermon on the Mount, where mm-hmm. Jesus was talking about in chapter 5, when he, he addressed very clearly about his followers, how we were to deal with those who oppressed us, those who came against us, those who were in opposition to us. That famous turn the other cheek passage where he says, turn the other cheek and give someone, go an extra mile with them. And, and the, the idea behind that is not to be weak, but it's to be intentional about how we are to act. Hmm. And I found in my own experience, one of the best ways I have responded was to be consistent. Hmm. Not to parade and not to pounce on my family members at every given opportunity, but to yeah. demonstrate that truly we love them. We love them whether they were far from God or close to God. We were cared for them but also meant that we didn't draw back from just demonstrating our faith. At every opportunity we could, we talked to our family, we asked and told them we were gonna be praying for a specific situation they'd be me facing. And it's been interesting how God has provided in life experiences, openness and opportunities, not ones that we created, but ones that life created for our family members. Yeah. And in that moment of crisis, that moment of need, having felt from us a sense of openness and acceptance as they were, there was an opportunity then to them come to us and ask our advice, ask our opinions about what God was doing in their lives. Mm. And those who were far from God, vehemently anti-God, mm. have come to a point where they're even talking to us and praying with us from time to time as a family. And so for me, I, the quick answer would be just to love them mm. as Jesus loved them. Respond to them as Christians, as followers of Jesus would respond. Don't make it an issue, but when consistently Pray consistently. Don't back away from your faith. Don't hide behind that. But yeah. yet, be op- overt. Or be overt. Be be intentional, and let them see above all else that you care about them. You love them. Yeah. And you're there for them regardless. I think you make a great point. I mean, you're what, essentially what you're saying is, see your family members as people, and not projects. Right. And I think we have a tendency as Christians sometimes we're burdened by family members and others. And, and that's good. I mean, we know that Jesus looked over Jerusalem and he wept over Jerusalem mm-hmm. because he, he wanted them to follow him. And so mm-hmm. burden is right. But sometimes our answer to burden is to try to, to do something that makes us feel better about mm-hmm. ourselves mm-hmm. instead of really um, helping that person uh, see who Christ is and be drawn to, to, exactly. to him. The thing is they know us. Yeah, our families right. know us. They right. know our good points, our bad points, and sometimes that's a great fear to share him because we know that that family member knows our deepest, darkest secrets. They've been there watching us for years. Right. And so that fear needs to be overcome. And, and yeah. I, as you said very clearly, we need to see our family members as people whom God loves. Right. Treat them just like we would anyone else that's far from God that needs mm-hmm. to hear a message from God. Be ready and be consistent. The one advantage we have is that we're probably in relationship and around them much more often than we are people down the street or people across town. Yeah. We see them. Yeah. 
And that's the good side. You know, that we see right. them and have opportunity regularly to be there. And as long as we maintain that, or, that door open and respond to them in love and compassion, even when they're not loving and compassionate, yeah, makes a big difference. So what you're saying is it's important to share truth, but don't underestimate the value of living truth. Mm. Al right. Allowing our family members just to see how we handle. Because the reality is, whether you're a Christian or you're not a Christian, yeah. life happens to all of us, right? right? I mean, people get sick, people get hurt, people are disappointed, have frustrations. Doesn't matter, Christian or non-Christian. Mm -hmm. And so allowing our family members just to see the way that we handle life with the hope of Christ mm -hmm. can have a huge impact. Exactly. As they're observe people are watching us more than we think they are. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe God will present the opportunity. Mm. The main question is, will we be ready right. when that opportunity presents itself? That's right. That's, and that's right. the intentionality that comes into play. You will be intentional when that opportunity presents itself to speak. And you'll be amazed at what God's going to be doing in the lives of your family. And you, you touched on earlier the, the importance of prayer. Mm-hmm. You know, because ultimately only God can save a person, right? right? I mean, so ultimately we're praying not only for God to bring salvation in a person's life, but we're praying for opportunities that God provides for us to join mm -hmm. Him in that. And so mm -hmm. as we're praying for that, we'll be more aware of those opportunities as they mm -hmm. come along. Right. That's very true. Yeah. Good. Well, listen, thank you. That's very helpful. Thank you. Good and, to hear. And, and thank you for that question. It's a great question. And, and all of your questions are great. So please continue to send questions to us. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to dialogue about those things. Hopefully it's helpful to you. We know it's helpful for us. So thank you again for joining us for this episode of the Ask a Pastor podcast. Do you have a question to ask a pastor? You can send it to us by visiting firstbaptistjackson.org slash app or message us on social media. You can find us at FBJacksonMS on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast and share it. Thanks again for joining us for Ask a Pastor.